Hi, today I want to show you a 2007 Harley Sportster XL 1200C. Uh, bought the bike on Craigslist and at the time it had a heck of a racket. Uh, I thought it was in the top end but I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, fortunately I got a pretty good price for the bike. It's got 15,000 miles on it and really overall the bike's pretty clean. It's not perfect uh, but it's not bad. Uh, wasn't sure exactly what was going on with the motor. Uh, after a little bit of work, found out that I had no compression at all in the front cylinder, I believe. It might have been the rear. It doesn't matter because they were both bad as it turned out. Anyway, I pulled the uh, head off of the front cylinder and found a broken valve, which in turn uh, crashed the uh, valve themselves into the piston. Uh, which then crushed into the heads themselves. So basically the whole upper end on that front cylinder was bad. Uh, sold, bought some new heads. Uh, 2013 uh, a guy had taken off a brand new bike to upgrade. Uh, so I bought both, set, both heads thinking I didn't really need them both. Uh, then in turn sold my old heads which a guy wanted on a forum. So when I went to pull off the rear head to, to send to this guy that I'd sold it to, realized that I'd also had problems with the rear. Uh, had uh, not dropped a valve in that case, but uh, my guess would be that somehow who had ever had the problem in the first place had, had really over-revved it tremendously and, and uh, floated the valves terribly. Anyway, so um, that made me glad I had already bought new pistons for front and back and new heads and uh, push rods because I also had two bent push rods so quite a bit of stuff going on there but fortunately being as it was eBay I did not give a lot for all that new stuff uh, got the gaskets various other things put it all back together and the bike seems to really run well um, I'll kinda go through some things I'm still working on that it needs uh, you can see the air cleaner there uh, looks new, which it is. Uh, the old one was just horrible. Actually, you could see uh, uh, it was broken in spots, so it wasn't even filtering the air. Anyway, so I bought a Screaming Eagle air cleaner. Uh, the bike didn't come with the uh, chrome cover. I've since bought one on eBay, but I'm waiting for that to come back. The exhaust, while not horrible, you can see is a little scratched up more so than I like and also I think somebody had uh, drilled out the baffles and it's just a little louder than I really want uh, so anyway uh, there's another thing I'd already bought on eBay that's on the way the seat uh, that uh, I just come across on Craigslist and had to have didn't need it but I think it goes really well with the bike um, this uh, side cover for the battery uh, that's missing and that was not there when I bought the bike. Uh, once again, I have bought that on eBay, and I'm waiting that, on that to get here. Uh, other than that, the only other thing I can think of, oh, the grips. I just put those on literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, the grips that were on, and I don't know if maybe the bike had been dropped or something. Anyway, they were pretty bad, and they would actually cut your hand if you weren't careful. And then the only other thing that I'm aware of that it need needs now is the front tire is toast uh, hardly any tread left and it's got some pretty decent cracks in the sidewall oh one other thing uh, it had two broken tail lights on the or tail lights slash blinkers on the back and I found a guy on Craigslist and felt like I just stole those from the guy and their LEDs uh, ended up getting front and back and they are really slick I really like them they fit in with the bike uh, other than that, I think we're good to go. I guess that needs to be there. Um, I'm going to start it for you and let you hear it.